Hello everyone, that's just Penny and today I am sharing just a little quick tip. Those of you who do digital prints or those who print the kits at home, if you have any kind of papers that will fit in the printer that you're not scared to print on, um, use them. This side is has nothing printed on. These are just papers that are uh, just rough drafts or they are boo-boo papers, printed errors or whatever. I save all of those because whenever I create a kit, um, I'll print out a draft and then I'll print out, you know, the preview images and then I'll print out the main kit that I'm going to use. So, but I have all these like um, extra papers I have uh, from all areas of my life I have all of these papers um, they're not confidential papers so keep that in mind there's old uh, I was writing a Christmas play there's toner where I was uh, actually resetting the inkjet printer head there's old songs that are, are like printed two or three boo-boo pages I shouldn't have printed that much there is old consultation guides that I'm taking classes and these are class notes that I no longer need, you know, kids worksheets, stuff like that, that you don't necessarily really want to put in. They're, they're still good. You can still use these to print on. So let's test this out. I have got the challenge, Facebook challenge, uh, 30 day prayers, gratitude challenge kit pulled up here. And I have these wonderful pages that I created. Let me go down. These are digital paints. This is what I did whenever I was working on the computer. Some are actually acrylic paints that I, papers, paintings that I did and I scanned them in like these here. These backgrounds were from my own stencils and things like that. So, um, I am going to print these pages as you can tell all of these wonderful colors just these I'm gonna print on these that I need to recycle okay so let's see how it turns out now with the Epson echo tank if I want to print on what's already printed then I would have that print facing down so I would have the blank side facing up whenever I put it through the printer however if I want to print on the blank side then I would put the print in the tray facing me I hope that makes sense so if you want to do like what I just did here you want to make sure that the printed pre-printed side that you want to cover up is actually facing down okay I hope that makes sense so these turned out gorgeous so this is a little printing tip for you guys if you don't want to waste papers you know if you have papers that come in the mail junk mail old letters that's you know that's you know you blotted out the confidential <laughs> information but if you have like old letters and you know old junk mail and things like that this printer will even do envelopes so I can go through my envelopes make sure you know if they are you know good to put in that there's no paper and I do not coffee dye on these pages and then print because it messes up my printer head because this is an ink check so I don't want the coffee to mess up my printer head so I will print on these I will let them set because this is liquid ink it is permanent ink it's liquid dye ink in mine um, so I will let these I'll print these let them set for 24 to 48 hours and then I will coffee dye them or spray them with coffee or tea or whatever so if you want to do just like I did to repurpose recycle and reuse those prints that you're not using even book pages you know um, then you can absolutely do this this is exactly what I'm, what I'm doing this is just regular thin copy paper that's what I use um, if I want to print on cardstock or something I, you know that's different but it worked they're beautiful they're actually this this print actually worked beautiful for these pages see that so that's just a little printer tip to save you money especially with papers you know that you misprint or the junk mail that you get uh, in the mail and things like that so just be aware that with an inkjet if you have any kind of 
ink or any kind of pa paint or coffee dyed or tea dyed papers or even the, the natural herbal fiber papers be very careful about you know putting them through the an ink jet because it will absorb that material that's on the paper okay everyone so i hope you've enjoyed this so i hope you uh, join me for the 30 day prayers gratitude challenge facebook challenge it's happening over in my facebook group art bible journaling principles by that's just penny and later on i'll be sharing it in another facebook group as well i will post that link in a little bit in a later video check out all the links down below i've updated the main website and i've updated patron in case you're wanting some freebies and not and there's also membership and now we have a new shop over on patreon so go check all that out um and this i hope you've enjoyed this new update about the new challenge that i'm hopefully going to be completing and i will see you later